Now greetings to the world. Vice of the one big gangzilla alongside Skrillex. Them for no. Oh, we. Up the place, turn up the place and make them all have fun How we have blaze the fire, make it fun the Jamaican bobsled team made their debut in the 1988 Olympics in Calgary, Canada. This team was made up of five bobsledders, Devin Harris, Dudley Stokes, Michael White, Freddie Powell, and a last minute replacement, Chris Stokes. They represented a tropical nation competing in a winter sport. No one expected the Jamaican bobsled team to do anything but fail. However, through these Olympics, they surprised many because they were seen as underdogs who became firm favorites and promoted Jamaican nationalism. Even other countries showed great support. The support was seen as other countries gave the Jamaican team sleds because they could not afford any due to their poor economy. And coming live on Channel 77 News, Andy Robbins. Hello, this is Andy Robbins reporting to you live, Channel 77 News, on the Jamaican bobsled team. Two American businessmen, George Fish and William Maloney, started the Jamaican Bobsled Federation after seeing a Kingston pushcart derby which possessed similarities to bobsledding. Jamaican Olympic President Michael Fennell agreed to allow the recruitment of athletes. Today we're going to talk about the Jamaican Bobsled team and how they had a great impact on Jamaican nationalism. Even though they were struggling economically, but they still found a way to have success in the 1988 Olympics. This just in, Vincent Perry in Jamaica with the bobsled team. Yeah man, this, this is a great opportunity to be a poor country, I'm so excited, thank you. The boys heading to the Olympics, so we're going to get gold medals fun all day. Yeah man, yeah man. The Olympics spiked Jamaican nationalism all over the world. Here are some examples. Dr. Reed, what do you think about the upcoming Olympics? Go Jamaican bobsled team man. Andrew Robbins here with the new Jamaican bobsled fan. How did you become a supporter? Well, I started off a fan of the Canadian bobsled team, but after the excitement that the inexperienced Jamaican team brought to the Olympic Games, I had to become a supporter. Go Jamaica! Come on, go Jamaica! Jamaica! Yeah! Yo, yeah, bobsled team! Jamaica! You want the Jamaica! 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 Go Jamaica bobsled team! Go Jamaican bobsled team. <laughs> this is a video of the Jamaican bobsled team and their debut competition of the 1988 Olympics in Calgary, Alberta of Canada. Although the Jamaican bobsled team did not win a medal, they still impressed many with some fast starts and by improving throughout the Olympics, even though they ended up not doing all four runs after the incident in the third heat. <laughs> I said, come on, Ja. What you say, Ja? This is Jamaica. This is Jamaica. There be no snow here, man. This is Jamaica. Here, after the finish of the second round, came the third, in which after a fast start, they lost control of the sled and crashed. After the crash, you can see their reaction. 
They did not put their heads down. Rather, they showed much pride in competing and representing their country. You can also see the fans shaking their hands, showing great support, and demonstrating the Jamaican team as a clear fan favorite. The team returned in the 1992 Winter Olympics, 1994 Winter Olympics, 2002 Winter Olympics, and they even qualified for the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi. This illustrates how the 1988 Jamaican bobsled team had a great effect on Jamaican nationalism as the Jamaicans are still competing in the bobsled event in modern day. We can also see how the Jamaican economy is still poor and has not greatly improved because the 2014 team lacked funding and needed an online campaign which raised around $130,000 allowing the team to compete in the Sochi Olympics. The 1988 Jamaican bobsled team was an inspiration for a motion picture of Cool Runnings. They also inspired a song, Jamaican Bobsled, which was written prior to the Olympics and the lyrics predicted that they would crash during one of their runs. This song shows Jamaican nationalism. Everybody. 